Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet bunny. Now this is a beginner level pattern and we'll be making this bunny with the help of a square. So this is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial. Usually in amigurumis, we start with a circle and make it in rounds. So it can be a little bit difficult uh, for beginners. But this is going to be a super simple pattern because we are just going to make a square first and then stitch this up to make it into a cute little bunny. Now we'll see the materials that you'd require. So as you can see, I have made it in two different sizes. You can definitely customize it into any size of your choice. So you can make it in from a tiny little bunny to a big large size bunny also. All you have to do is to make it into a big size square. Okay. So let's see the materials that you would require. Now the small bunny here has been made with a cotton yarn. So this is a sport weight cotton yarn. And I have used a 3mm crochet hook to make this one. The big one. This one has been made with an acrylic yarn. So this is the worsted weight acrylic yarn. And for this I have used a 5mm crochet hook. So you can use cotton or acrylic whatever you have at hand. I personally feel that if you use cotton yarn the stitch definition is better. And it just looks a little bit better when compared to your acrylic yarn. It's a personal choice. Usually amigurumi patterns are made with uh, cotton yarns just because it has a better stitch definitions. So use any yarn that you have at hand, just go with the recommended hook size. Now apart from that, you would require some scrap yarns in red and black color. And if you want to make a bow, you can definitely use that. So one I have made with a red color yarn. And here I have used a satin ribbon to make a bow. And you would require some other color yarn or same color also you can use and to make a pom pom. So it will look really cute here okay so these are the materials required uh, with respect to your yarn and your hook apart from that you will require a pair of scissors a darning needle and some stuffing so these are the few requirements so now before moving on to the tutorial a small request if you're new to my channel and if at any point in the video you like what you see please do not forget to press on the like button and please do consider subscribing for more such videos so let's just get started so we'll start this pattern with a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you take your yarn, loop it around your finger like an X, then take this loop out and pull your working yarn through this loop. So this here is your slip knot. Now you can make the slip knot the way you like. This is how I like to make my slip knot. Once you have your slip knot, you have to put 25 chain stitches. So I'm going to put 25 chain stitch. So to, in order to make a chain stitch, you go left, you go under your yarn and pull up a loop. So this is your first chain stitch. This is your second chain stitch. Like that, I'm going to make a total of 25 chain stitch. Now for the smaller bunny, I had made a total of 30 chain stitches. But then the hook was uh, 3mm and it was a sport weight yarn. So yes, for the smaller one, I had started with 30 chain stitch. And for this, I'm going to start with 25 chain stitch. So I'll just complete my 25 chain stitch. Alright, so here I have finished my 25 chain stitches. Now we'll move on to the first row. So for that, I'm going to skip my very first chain stitch. So I'm going to skip the first chain stitch. And into my second stitch, I'm going to work a single crochet. So skip the first stitch and make a single crochet in the next stitch. So to make a single crochet, you insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both. So this is my first single crochet. I'll make a single crochet in the next stitch also. So go ahead and make a single crochet. Like this, you have to put one single crochet in each of these stitches till you reach the end of this row. So I'll show that once again to make a single crochet. Insert your hook into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both these loops. So this is a single crochet. So I'll complete making one row of single crochet. And you'll have a total of 24 single crochet for your row 1. So I'll complete 24 single crochet and meet you at the end of this row. Alright. So just make one single crochet in each of these stitches. Okay. So here I have finished making one full row of single crochet. And I have a total of 24 single crochet. We will move on to the next row. So for that I'm going to start with chain 1 and turn my work. 
from here onwards this is what we are going to do in every single row so we'll chain one turn our work and then continue making one single crochet in each of these stitches so i'll make my single crochet so go into the first stitch and make a single crochet come to your next stitch again make a single crochet like this for this row also i'm going to place one single crochet in each of these stitches and i'll have a total of 24 single crochet now here i have chosen single crochets to make the square but you can definitely use a half double crochet or a double crochet stitch to make the square it's just that i prefer smaller stitches when it comes to stuffed toys uh, if you are choosing half double crochet your work will finish off faster so yeah you can definitely use half double crochet if you prefer but here i'm just going to make single crochet uh, for the entire square so I'll just complete making this row and I'll just continue the same pattern once I reach the end of this row I'll chain one turn my work and then again make single crochet row till I have a square so I'll just finish this round and just start the next row also with you so that you can understand it better all right so here I'm at the end of my row 2 and here again I have a total of 24 single crochets I'll just work one more round with you so for the next round just like we did earlier we'll chain one and then turn our work and then continue making one row of single crochet so the chain one that we have put we have to skip that and come to the first stitch and start making our single crochets so just place one single crochet in each of these stitches so like this I'll make a couple of uh, rows and show you how many rows I have made just make a few more rows till you make it into a proper square so I'll just complete a few more rows and meet you at the end of it so here I have made a few more rows of single crochet and turn this into a square uh, here I have made a total of 24 rows now you really don't have to count the rows what you can do is you can take one corner and match this up to the next one and see if it matches if it matches it means that you have a perfect square so first once you make your square we will have to stitch this up so for that you have to find the middle row so we will just fold the square like this on one side and you can see that this here is your center line or the center row I'll just fold this again so that I have a mark here okay so this is the center row through which we will do a running stitch again I'm folding it like this so as to mark the center stitch so this here is my center stitch what I'll do is I'll take a stitch marker and mark this up you can use a safety pin or just another color yarn just to make a small marking to know which is your center stitch okay so once that is done we will take a long yarn so I have used the same color yarn and I have passed it through a darning needle now I'm going to make it uh, make a running stitch so I'll make a running stitch all the way through the center of this row through the center line here and then make it into a square then I'll go here and then come down here so I'm just going to make it into a triangle so let's start it's going to be a normal running stitch so you can just go ahead and make the running stitch so I'll just go ahead and make a running stitch I'm not knotting this down because you need to pull it so you don't need to uh, knot this end just keep it loose and make your running stitch go through the center line or the center row and make a normal running stitch Alright, so here I have made a running stitch running through the center of the square. Now I'll make uh, it into, I'll make a slanting line to join the center stitch. So just randomly go through a couple of stitches till you reach the center stitch. So you can make it into a triangle here. It's not going to be a perfect line because uh, the stitches are not really very even. It's not a straight line. So try to be as even as possible.
okay so here i have reached this part now i'm going all the way down to reach this end all right so here i have gone ahead and made a running stitch to make it into a triangle now what you have to do is you have to just pull your yarn so you, here you have two yarns so just pull your yarn so that it just folds in and when you see that it is folding in you can see a small circle bulging up so in this circle you have to fill your polyfill or your stuffing so i'll just fill that up okay so here i'm going to just stuff this in with the polyfill fiber so you will get a small uh, circle where you can stuff this in so just go ahead and stuff this properly and then again pull on this ends so it will start to close so once everything is inside you can see that there is a nice this is the like the head of the bunny push everything inside and pull it this tight and then knot this down so you can just knot it down okay so here i have knotted this down and you can see that the head and the ears are formed now we'll go work on the body so we'll stitch from this end to this end you can use any stitch that you want so before that before you go there you, there might be a small gap here so you push everything together here and then stitch this up first so that there are no gaps so go ahead hold these two ears together and stitch this up first So that there are no gaps there is no way that the filling is going to come out and once that is done that gap is taken care of you can use any stitch to stitch this up so hold these two together and stitch this up So here I have stitched this up and if you see here you can find a small opening here. So in this opening you can fill the remaining stuffing. So just go ahead and put the remaining stuffing inside this. So this will take care of the body of your bunny. Okay so there your body is stuffed. Now we'll close this up. So for that what we'll do is we'll just go around this circle and then pull up so i'll show you how to do that so i've just stuffed this inside so this is my last stitch here i'll just go around the circle i'll take my darning needle and go in and out of the circle so don't pull too tight just go once around the circle Okay, so here I have gone around the circle once and after you go once around the circle just pull on this end so you can see that it gets closed so just tightly pull it out and you can see that there are no more gaps so you can just pull it nice and tight and then make a few stitches to close it completely so there will be no more gaps so I'll just go and make two or three knots here so that everything is hidden completely and I'll just knot here okay so that takes care of everything if you want you can make one more knot and just 
cut your yarn so I'll just take this out and cut my yarn here so your bunny is almost done all you have to do is you have to make some eyes and mouth for that okay so this takes care of your body and your bunny is almost done you can see that uh, it is ready okay now we'll take care of the eyes now if you want you can attach beads or you can attach uh, you could have attached safety eyes if you had but I'm going to use a black color yarn and embroider and uh, just do the eyes with the yarn. Now for the eyes, I have taken a black color yarn. I'll go through the center of this place and then find a spot where I want to make my eyes. So I'll just take my needle out from the place where I want to. I have not knotted this down. It is just hanging loose. So in case you are making a mistake, you can pull it out. So I'm just going and making like a small line and I'll just make come out of the other place where my next eye should be. So this is how. So this is how your eyes will be and I want my next eye to be somewhere here. So that is where my yarn needle will go next. Like this. Now in case you are not happy with it you can easily pull it out because we have not knotted this i'll go again down and first complete this eyes so i'll make two three lines for the eyes so go ahead and make two three stitches for your eyes i think this should be enough for this eye okay so this eye is done I'll do once again and go and come back to this place so this is done I'll do the same thing I'll go a few more times to make this eyes so there are no hard and fast rule how many times you have to go uh, when you are comfortable, when you like what you have stitched and it is okay, you can stop it. If your stuffing comes out, you can poke the needle inside and push it inside so that everything stays in place. I'll do that once more and with that I think my eyes will be done. So my stuffing is coming out. I'll just push this inside and go back to where I have started here. So that I can knot this down. Alright. So I have come out. So the eyes are done. I will knot these two together. And then cut it off. So make a knot here. One or two. How much ever you feel. Will make it secure. So here I have knotted this down. I will go down and come out of any stitch here from the next side. So just push your needle down through this and come out from this end. Now you can cut this part here. You can cut it as close as you want and then push if something is coming out just push it inside it will just get hidden same way you can hide this end also so take this end and poke it inside your bunny so that that part of the yarn remains hidden okay so this has come out you can cut this off as well Okay, so our eyes are done. We can move forward and make the nose and the mouth part. Okay, so now we'll work on the mouth part. So for that I have taken my red color yarn. I'll again start from the center of this point and then make them come out like this. I will just take one strand of yarn. I have not knotted this down here and I'm going to use three or uh, an it's going to be like a triangle so this is one stitch two and three so I'll come down 
and come one stitch down like this so i'm going to make it into a triangle so i'll come out like this so this is a triangle that i will be making so first i'll make the guidelines so this is one line and this is the next triangle line so this is where i'll be working First, I make the triangle part so that I can get the guidelines where I have to fill in. So, this is the part that I have to fill in. And I will just uh, make a couple more stitches to cover this area. Alright. So, I will just do that. I will go a few more times up and down and cover the full triangle with my red color. Yeah. Okay. So, here I have gone back and forth and completed the triangle and the face is done. I've also attached a small pom-pom here for the tail part of it. It looks very cute. Uh, if you want, you can add a bow to it. So here I have used a ribbon here for my smaller one. I had made a few chain stitches and this is made with the yarn itself. So you can attach it with a ribbon or a yarn if you want to make a uh, bow for the bunny. So that's how the bunny looks. It's really cute. It's really pretty and it works up very very fast. So you can make a couple of these in different sizes and I hope you enjoyed it. Now if you like the video please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel do consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Until then bye bye. Thank you for watching.